Yes. Well, Mondays are for 100% responsibility and zero excuses. It's going to be a mad Monday yes, here sir. in the studios. And mad stands for making a difference Monday, by the way. The journey starts with you. Take that step today if you love life. Don't waste time. It's a super Monday, especially with loads of exciting things happening right here on the show. Speaking of exciting things, mm -hmm. an exciting lady has entered our kitchen. Yeah. Like Chef Mary Jane, Jane in the, the building! building. I'm so excited to be here to be like, I don't even know how to express it, but hello! Oh. <laughs> it's fantastic to see the kids. Yeah, we can't wait for whatever it is for us today. Yeah. So I'll be making something fantastic this morning. Very simple, could work for a Monday morning. Mm. It's not going to get you drowsy and you'll be so energetic for the whole day. Yes, All right. definitely. That's what oh. we need. That's what we need. Absolutely. One thing she's very good for is making sure your taste buds come alive. Absolutely. Especially on a Monday like also this. Also, beautiful parts of the journey of life can't be found without getting lost first. Hmm. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations and I should know about this. Yeah, <laughs> you like the, that, that journey thing. You Absolutely. have that journey thing going Absolutely. on. <laughs> and of course, that's some serious motivation there from Mazino. Welcome to the number one breakfast show on television. It is Wake Up Nigeria. Today's edition promises to be filled with the right amount of top-notch family entertainment. Yes, indeed. Well, it's the start of a new week and we aim to help you start your week uh, the right way, of course. Yeah. Every single time, don't we now, Titi? Yes, so... so get your strap on mm. if you need one. The secret of getting ahead is getting started on Wake Up Nigeria. My name is, of course, Mazin Appeal. And I'm Titi Laya Olinson. Remember, you can use our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be part of the best breakfast show on Nigeria TV. And also, you want to remember that you can also watch us live from absolutely anywhere across the world through our mobile app. Uh, you can download this on mm. Google Play Store and also on iOS. And please follow us. We don't like privacy. We want you in our business. <laughs> we are at Teams Connect on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yes. And use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. So it's about time for us to check out what we have in store. In the highlights today, we have, of course, on Mondays, Motivation. We'll be joined by seasoned inspirational speaker, author, and so much more, Mr. Fola Daniel at Delusi. He's sharing with us uh, the topic, reverse is also needed. <laughs> you have to put some things in reverse sometimes. We'll be getting to know more about that later on. All right, oh, yes. another day. We made it. Oh, yes, we did. We mm -hmm. made it over the weekend. Weekend was fantastic, actually. Mm -hmm. We started very, very nicely. Mm -hmm. Let me ask how yours went since after I saw you boogieing down on Friday ah, evening at the about Thanksgiving party. So I needed extra rest after the boogieing down you on did. Friday. So Saturday and Sunday, I, I, you know, I kind of chilled. But let's talk a bit about Friday, let's though. Please. Ah, you want to hear this? When it comes to that event, so what we're talking about is our Thanksgiving service. Mm -hmm. So, um... You're going to make sure you stay tuned tomorrow mm -hmm. to find out exactly what happened. All the details, yeah. all the people who mm. uh, chose the moment to actually show their true mm. character. Mm. Wow. Look <laughs> who's talking. Look no, no. who's talking. I'm, I'm always very chill in open space. Really, so that's really. I, I, really you know, I need to do all the, all the boogieing. Well, a big shout out to the entire team at TVC for putting that event yeah. together. Um, it was really, really amazing. We had um, interesting features, didn't we? We had yes. the KSP. Yeah. Um, uh, Mike Arrow was there as yes. well. Yes. And um, who else? Ohiri. Ohiri. Yes. Ohiri. Yes. yes. So it was just an amazing event. A lot of people let loose and had a lot to be thankful mm -hmm. for. And everyone was wearing white some outfits. Eh? We should do fashion, <laughs> fashion segments on that. <laughs> Tomorrow you guys get to see all of this and uh, you're going to love it. So mm. I'll tell you what we're going to do. So Let's go we uh -huh. have to take the mm -hmm. weather update at this point and we'll be back with more. Welcome back. So we have the news for you and we start with this. Now the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, is not leaving any stone unturned as he has now ordered the immediate review and strengthening of security arrangements around educational institutions in the country. Now he has also ordered the deployment of additional operational and investigative assets to support the ongoing search and rescue operations in Kankara and its environs in Katsina State where heavily armed men abducted students of Government Science Secondary School, Kankara. The deployment, which includes personnel from the police tactical squads and crack detectives from the Force Intelligence Bureau, will provide investigative support to the Katsina State Police Command. A statement signed by the Force Police Relations Officer Frank Mba on behalf of the IGP says investigations so far reveal that one of the attackers was killed and a policeman injured during the attack. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has condemned the bandits' attack on the secondary school in Katsina. 
The attack was carried out just as President Buhari commenced a one-week private visit to his hometown in Dora. In a statement released by presidential spokesman Gabashehu, the president said, I strongly condemn the cowardly bandits' attack on innocent children at the science school, Kankara. The statement also says, uh, and I quote here, the president has directed the reinforcement of security of all schools in line with the safe schools policy of the administration. And in Lagos, Governor Babajide Sanolu is the latest high-profile person to have contracted the virus. The governor is undergoing treatment at the moment. Minister Sanolu, um, um, Samalu has gone into isolation since Friday following contact with some of his aides infected with the virus. Lagos State Commissioner for Health announced this on Saturday. Now, Aki Abayomi said the governor is currently experiencing mild symptoms and fatigue, typical of mild case of the virus. In a release, he added that Samalu is receiving treatment and is being closely monitored at home by a clinical team from the Infectious Disease Hospital in Yaba. We'll take this very short break now and return momentarily with sports news. We'll be back. And of course, you're welcome back. Let's take a look at what the headlines are for the dailies this morning. It's still Wake Up Nigeria and this morning we are starting from the Guardian newspaper. First big headline this morning, Monday, December 14th, half of the month already gone by, you could say. Fury over missing Katsina students. This was all about the news yesterday and over the weekend. Women, students take to streets in protest. 333 students still unaccounted for, says the governor. Groups urge Buhari to visit school. Police deploy special officers. Um, a look at the photo story for the Guardian Katsina State Governor Aminu Masari. Uh, on the left there, and Minister of Defense um, Bashir Magashi in Katsina to sympathize with the, governors, uh, with the governor on the Kankara incident only just yesterday. And right out under that, experts warn on second wave of COVID-19. Many argue that we are already inside of it. And NCDC alerts to sharp rise in cases and deaths. Laments declining testing in northern states and discloses 100 million naira for action plan. We are going to move on now to the Tribune newspaper. And our very first big headline um, inside the Tribune, protests in Katsina. Uh, governor says 333 students still missing. They will be rescued soon, says the defense minister. UNICEF condemns abduction. And a look at the protesting mothers. Um, at the, uh, that's the photo story on the Tribune. Maritime workers begin in a definite strike today over sack of 500. And why Oyo PDP leaders are angry with Makinde. This on page 26, Saka Balogun Committee report. Troops kill 20 terrorists, capture four gun trucks in Borno. And at the bottom of the Tribune, we will make every state ungovernable if governors borrow pension funds, says pensioners. And Serap asks Buhari Silva to explain how Petroleum Minister, or rather Ministry, spent 11, no, make that 116 million naira on pens and others. And at the top of the Tribune, boss Mustafa's family members uh, test posi positive for COVID-19. And Buhari wrongly advised to shun Rep's invitation after Baba Lola says. That's as much as we have for the Tribune newspaper. Now we move on to the Punch newspaper this morning. Outrage over Buhari's failure to visit school. 333 still missing, says the governor. That's on the Katsina mass abduction from over the weekend. It's shocking Buhari is in Katsina and can't visit Kankara, say Nigerians. And parents protests. PDP alleges tear gas um, attack on protesters of Flays FG. And our focus is to resolve students' abduction, not politics, says Presidency. Another look at one of those pictures from the protest going on in Kankara currently from um, the incident of abduction over the weekend. At the bottom of that photo story here, we see this. Civil servants paid self 145 million naira PIB media fund, says the Senate. That on page 8. And Buhari ill-advised to shun reps' invitation, after Babalola says on page 7. At the very bottom, and lastly, we see blacklist. NSCIA faults U.S. can over religious intolerance. There is more. You might want to grab a, a copy of the Punch newspaper to find out how much more. We move on now to the Nation newspaper for a Monday here and big headline, Governor, no contact yet from abductors of 333 pupils. 
That's referring to the incident in Kankara, Katsina State. Defense Minister Service Chiefs in Katsina on rescue mission, women protest, and once again, those pictures making the front page photo story even for the nation. Forex intervention gives false hope on Nair, says IMF, and at the very bottom of the nation, CBN budgets 200 billion Naira for family housing project. 20 insurgents, 3 bandits killed. At the very top of the paper, 18 generals test positive for COVID-19, and SGF goes into isolation. And of course, the big win from yesterday early morning, Joshua calls out Fury after beating Pulev. Um... That's going to be very interesting. I do think that you should find that on page 39. And, of course, finally for the nation, uh, government firms raised two trillion naira for capital market. That's on business. And that's as much as we can take for the dailies this morning. Do grab yourself a copy of these papers, perhaps, and maybe read. If you want to make a comment on them, do remember to hashtag us so we can track these. We are Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms. Thank you very much. Do stay tuned. Let's check the weather again one more time, and we'll be back with some more. All right. So, wow, so much happened over the weekend. So much happened. Good stuff, bad yeah. stuff, everything. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, special about the situation in Katsina State, yes, Kankara. Um, mm. Very sad the situation about the abducted kids. Our hearts go out to their parents. And, of, course. Um, of course. Of course, the government is uh, doing uh, everything they can to make sure that they are rescued. We've been promised that they will be brought back to safety. So we hope that that happens. Amen. I don't know how much bad news I want to talk about inside of Coffee Just City. Yeah, so it's, it's I, just, we wish we didn't hear stories like this. Yeah, um, and it's, it's, a, it's like one of a parent's worst nightmares. Yeah, you indeed. Know? Um, and it is really sad. Uh, but, you know, there are quite a lot of other things in the news as well. Yes. Do you uh, want to talk about a happy one? Uh, yes, a happy one. But, of course, Anthony Joshua, thank you very much for doing <laughs> Nigeria proud. It was one good news we had to hear over the weekend. Mm. And I'm, I'm so happy. I was like this throughout what? the entire Fingers fight crossed. because I was hoping. But after the first run, I'm like, nah, yeah. <laughs> you got this. You so got so this. the other ladies know me for this. You know, the only reason why I watch boxing is because I like to see, you Men know, without their shirts on. Yes. It's okay. And in shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, glistening and all shiny. and But the, the, I wasn't sure about the violence part of it. But, you know, it's just something it's about okay. a man that can defend himself. To each his own. To <laughs> each his own. It's but okay. he, he broke a record, I believe. Not um, really a record. But yeah, he's he's his kept his, all his uh, titles intact. Yeah. Um, this is his uh, 24th win. Yeah. He's only had one uh, um, uh, defeat in his entire um, career. Wow. And, um, I mean, hey, this, it incredible. seems like there's still so much left in him. Mm. He knocked mm. him out. Uh, that's Pulev now. Yeah. In the seventh round. And... Um, Quite frankly, after the first round, they didn't really give anything each of them. They were kind of like they were testing themselves to see who exactly, what you got, what you got, what you got. Yeah. But by the third round, you knew that Anthony had the upper hand. You knew that he, was, he had this match locked down. Mm. Played with him for a couple other rounds, but until the seventh round, knocked him out. It was coming. So yeah, so I, I believe it was a seven-round uh, mm -hmm. bout, yeah. you know. Um, and, you know, I've, I've heard of bouts that go up to even 10, 12 well, rounds. This one. Yeah. This he could one have ended was already, it in five. It was done, right? He could have ended it in five. But okay. he, just, he just all right. At least he kept the title. To. And kept Twitter, the title. Twitter went agog. Mm -hmm. Everybody started claiming him over state government. <laughs> <laughs> you went <Yes>. there. <laughs> <laughs> all this of us. proves that we have to focus more in sports and put more money there. Yeah, true. I agree. But uh, it's typical of Nigerians to always claim something that so has So you know I box, right? right? You know I box. No. You didn't know Maybe I Mary, but not you. No, I, you, you, weren't, you weren't on the show when I went for my boxing feature. Oh, really? Yeah, so I actually, that's actually one of the things I do to, you know, lose weight. And I was inspired by Anthony Joshua, oh. you know, and, you know, he came in and gave me, if, you know, some, some tips <laughs> via YouTube. No, yeah. he came, no, he didn't. I'm, I'm did joking. He? Oh, please. But, <laughs> Don't get me but excited. Really, it, is, it is kind of therapeutic, um, you know, especially if you have a lot of anger okay. or pent up tension. Okay. Um, and uh, it was something during the hangout we had mm. last week. I brought my boxing gloves okay. uh, to the hangout for ladies who had things they just wanted to get off their okay, chest. To release that steam and all yeah, of that. Yeah, and it was actually a lot of fun. I'll tell you something. So I have a video of that online if you want oh, to please, see it. Oh, please, I would like to see it. <laughs> By the way, that beats going on Twitter and ranting your heart out. Exactly. Now, I'm going to say something about the weekend. The weekend saw um, very many things happen that weren't very palatable, and mm. one of which uh, was the entire situation between Oge Obi and also Kiki Modi, if you remember the Sex for Grades mm. um, documentary. Mm. Uh, Kiki's been winning plenty of awards, and yes, this is... Um, um, caused people to actually call her out and say you weren't the only person who actually um, endeavored in, in, in putting together this documentary. Many even said that she was just a face. Okay. Um, so how about giving some accolades to everybody else? 
Now, this, they say, drove, uh, drove a, a, a few people, or one person in particular, into depression. Mm. And um, it hit the news that she actually tried to commit suicide. And this is Oge Obi. Now, I, I don't have all the details about mm -hmm. this, but, um, you know, I, I do think it, it couldn't have just been one case, one mm. story that would lead someone to into depression that far that they would mm. want to, you know, do, go so far as to kill themselves. Mm. Uh, I'm hoping it's not the case. I will tell I'm you I'm hoping she however. would... She will get help. Um, the, yes, she is getting yeah. help from all her friends mm. and family. Um, everybody's rallying around her. She is safe now. Mm. Um, however, I will say something. Can we try and be a little nicer, please, mm. especially on social media? Can it not be the place where you have to go and pour all your vitriol and vexations and all? It's becoming a bit too much because if you read through threads that oh, were she, on the matter, yeah. what she had to deal with, people, yeah. what people had to say, it was appalling how we actually not us now, I mean certain people disregarded her, her mental state, mm. seeing what she was going through, even at a point where she actually said that, you know what, that's it, I'm done. She had a tweet where she said, um, cyanide or resin, which wow. would be faster. Wow. And to see the kind of comments people actually put under that, wow. I was so appalled and I was, uh, I was very sad. It, it wasn't, it wasn't a I don't know if as a, as a, as a nation we've, we're in some sort of denial that there are people that have serious issues with their mental health mm -hmm. um, and I when I say denial because of the responses you see mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of people that end up um, they're in so much denial that they mm -hmm. end up putting their own frustration on, on other, other people, people. Yeah. and they're probably in worse situations themselves true. Um, and true. when you see people lash out like that it is likely that they're going through something serious themselves and they've been told to shove it under the carpet for mm -hmm. years and years and years and they become so hardened and they do say that Nigerians can survive anywhere in the world because we've been so hardened against, mm. you know, the brutality of it all mm -hmm. in this country mm -hmm. that whenever you go to any other country, it's like, eh, what can they do to me that they've not done to me in I'll my life? I'll tell you what, man. If you're yeah. out there, it's a Monday. Start a new week. Start a new life. Mm. Just be nice to everybody out there. You never know what they're going through. You never know what they do after they've met yeah. you. So let be that po sense of positivity that they're going to meet today. It starts with a smile, actually. So, yes. <laughs> That's my little money motivation for you. <laughs> Indeed. And at this point, we have to take a quick break. Don't forget, we still have Chef Mary Jane in the building. Yes, Something spicy will be coming your way. All right. It's about time. <laughs> now, honestly, there's so much happening in the world of tech. But when it comes to the world of food, we call this lady to make things happen. The one and only Chef Mary Jane in the building. Good morning. <laughs> it's what? I know how to what? What? You. <laughs> you just know how to. You, eh? We've missed you. Uh, and we thank God, you know, we're back. We have a great Ni Wake Up Nigeria kitchen on lockdown. And you've already come with this, your display of... Sometimes I wonder at the ingredients. I, some of them I can't even recognize. But some of them are really, really, really easy to recognize. What are we making today? Okay, I'm making... Um Vegetable sauce, okay. with boiled yam, okay. and steamed fish. Okay. And I'm going to put a little twist by adding some umba and stockfish to it. Hmm. It's hmm. just a typical breakfast that um, is meant to be released and at the same time not feeling you're having something too heavy. Okay. But at the same time, you're stylishly going really homemade. Hey. But at the same time, there are so many at the same time. <laughs> so many at the same time. <laughs> But as long as all these spices all go into that dish, Just we it know it's going to taste good. Awesome. But let's go over the ingredients, shall we? Let's start okay. from here and Okay, I have way. my stockfish fillets here, okay. which I'm going to soak for a while to get softer. Okay. And I have my seasoning cube onions. Of course, we know all that. So you, you call this onions, right? Yeah, this is onions. I thought so you were I going to call it gold. gold. As just a joke. I, I, the joke was right there. It has passed. There's onions now. <laughs> Because onions are so expensive these days. No, onions, there's onions in the market right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. So I have my croaker fish here. It's been washed, clean. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some stuff to it. And I have uba here. Um, uba, uba is called oil bean. Oil bean. Yes, oil Ooh. bean seed. Okay. You know the abacha. You okay. know when you're having abacha, you usually have oba. Or when you want to have roasted yam, it just takes it home home. Okay. 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 Then I have my peppers. I have my um. So this is um. Rodo. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have my tomato paste here. Okay. I have my vegetable oil. I also have my yam here. Okay. 
Um, Any particular type of yam? Just no, just yam. Okay. I've already cut it. I've um, gotten it ready for boiling. Oh. And I have my vegetable and I'll be using um, green. Green? Yeah, is that's it? just what I have. In is there. that the one they call tete? Or yes, is this it is tete. Choco? No, this is tete. Tete. All this right. Tete. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So, so I have, um, uh, sorry, I just had one more thing. Um, what, where is it? I have lemon salt. Aha. You'll be wondering what I'll be doing with lemon salt. I just want to have my fish have a little... Um, taste with there's a little bit for just a tiny bit okay okay, okay. All right. okay All right. so um we'll just have to put the yam on fire right now and okay. um go ahead go ahead do your thing um so uh we had been prepping earlier i noticed that you plucked some of the leaves yes um you removed the major stalks but you still left a bit of it yes you know i actually did some people just want to see that i really don't like seeing Okay. of any vegetable, but it makes it easier for So me. you're steaming this yam? Yes, I'm going to steam it. So it makes it easier to hold when you want to cut it. Okay, beautiful. It makes it much, much easier. All right. The yam is on the heat. Yes. Uh, I noticed that you were boiling water. Okay. What are you boiling the water? The water is going to be used to, um, I'm trying to remember that name we call it. Um, can you remind me? What, steam? No, no, what? no, no. I'm going to pour it inside the vegetable. Okay. It, it has a name. Oh, you're blanching it? Yes. You're blanching. You. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So going to, <laughs> <laughs> I love your help. So I'm going to use the water to um, blanch, it. To blanch mm -hmm. the um, vegetable. So my, my, my dad taught me mostly the, all those tricks in the kitchen. Oh, really? And he used to just pour the hot water on the vegetable. Yes, but it, it um, has to be cut first. Instead of boiling it. Just no, pour no. the hot water. Yeah, pour the yeah. hot water. Okay. When, when, once it's caught, mm. you now pour, um, pour some hot water, stir it. Now for Tete, the difference is that it has a smell, and that's oh. what I'm just trying to eliminate. Okay. So right. um, just a second, I'll take this out. We didn't get to talk much about the fish. Um, so off the top of your head, what type of fish is this? And that's um, coca fish. Coca fish? Yes. Um, you've descaled it, I yes. believe. Yes, washed Fresh or frozen? This is um, frozen. Okay. This is frozen Kroger fish. All right. So I'm just going to chop these in yeah. smaller bits. All right. This is the real, this is how they slice the vegetable. <laughs> I remember the whole chopping board style. Mm. Um, there's what they do in the market. Mm. But you kind of know that it's market chop. It's for professionals. Prof <laughs> <laughs> I often wonder... How they don't cut their fingers off whenever they do it's that? It's because they've done it so many times. Mm -hmm. So it's the least. In fact, they even gist while they are cutting that stuff. Mm. And you begin Goodness to wonder me. how they concentrate while doing that. All okay, right. so this is ready. All right. So I'm just going to blanch it. Aha. Pour in some warm water. So right. this is a small quantity. That's why mm. I'm using a glass or a breakable plate. Please don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say something, but you know. Please don't try this just at keep home. Quiet. Don't try using, um, the water is not as hot. Okay. So right. please don't try using a glass bowl to blanch. All right. It's because I'm doing this because okay. my vegetable is not much. We're going to wait for this to, wait. we don't have much time on this. So you're going to yes. pour the water so, out Yes, soon. I'm going to so now right. the water. And at this point, we are going to be taking a quick break. There's still so much more to learn from this amazing woman. And of course, right here on Wake Up Nigeria, so much for you to connect with. Stay with us. Hey, let's, let's, let's have a little word with you now. Um, well, I wanted you to sit down there or stand there, but it's okay. Hey, have a seat. Have a seat. How's it going, man? Nice track there. And I see that you have the uh, new um, starter pack for the new singer. You have your bling bling and your what's it called and everything. But how's it been for you, man? Um, it's been great. It's Starting been great, out you know, in music and uh, everything. Uh, easy journey? No. Nah. Not an easy journey. Not really. Tell me just a little bit about that before I let you go. Um, so I started singing like five years ago. Okay. I only started writing music like three years ago. Okay, that's nice. Um, since then, I, I, did, I really didn't record any songs up until like 2018, December. Right. That was when I started recording most of the songs that I have right now. Mm. Um, the industry is a bit tricky. You know, you have to constantly keep on writing music. You have to const constantly keep on evolving and getting better at your tracks. Mm. And your craft has to get better over time. But that's a good thing. I mean, how far do you think you're going to go in the next two years, for instance? Let's say, what, um, OBO standards, whiskey. <laughs> 
Um, but well, you God, do look good, God's so God. hey, you're well on the way already. Let yeah. me just say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank, thank you very much thank for a wonderful thank performance. You so that was fantastic. Thank you Absolutely so much for having it. me. And we're looking forward to uh, you uh, well writing and doing more music. Yes, thank you so much. Well, that's great. Thank yeah. you very much, Jesse Jam. Yeah. All righty, um, do st stick around because we've got plenty more coming around. So hey, um, let's see what's happening inside of the kitchen here with Titi and Chef Mary Jane. I'm wondering what you guys are up to. <coughs> As always, we're taking over things in the kitchen here. Ah, uh, uh, so much is happening. So much is happening. Chef Mary Jane has been, you know, uh, uh, having everything done. So speak and span. Um, if you <laughs> didn't catch it earlier, we're making spicy vegetable sauce with steamed fish and boiled yam. Yes. I got it. I got it. Yes, I got did. it. Okay, so um, we have some really great ingredients here. Let's take them one more time. We have... The stockfish. stockfish fillet, that's yes. what you called it. Yes. Eh, 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 eh. Yes, the uba. Right. Yes, not uba. It's uba. 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 Yes, okay, uba. sorry. I apologize. Uh, we have, of course, our uh, rodo. <laughs> rodo. Rodo. And the yam is boiling. It's on fire. Yeah. Is this all the vegetable that That's we... the funny thing about vegetable. Just, what the just very, happened? That's the very funny thing about vegetable. Once you blanch it, everything... Where did it all go? The accent. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tomato... Um, that's a tomato paste. Is this purchased paste or you? No, made I made this? it myself. Okay, how do you do that? Buy tomato, grind it, okay, boil it to dry, and that's it. All right, beautiful. Yeah, it's time to cook, so I have to wear my apron. What's next? Um, okay, so um, the yam is almost done. Okay, we're going there. Um, so I just want to get the sauce ready. Mm -hmm. We have um, a pan on on the heat, right? Yes, I have pan on heat. I'm thinking maybe I should just move that that way. Okay. Okay, I think I can do that. All right, beautiful. All Don't right. worry, it's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. so. Okay, so um, we're about to get to work, but before then, I, I wanted the pan to get A little hot. warm. Yes, and dry. So the onions are slicing now. They're going to mm. go into the pan. Yes, it is. Um, well, my pan is warm enough, so I'm just going to put a little oil. I just want... I don't like make, making a meal with so much oil. Okay. So I just put in a little. With some sliced onions. onions. Yes. So there are some basics to making sauce, you know. Normal um, for oil, either your vegetable oil yeah. or your red oil mm -hmm. and then onions. Then every other thing can go. Uh, then everything else. <laughs> so I've always wondered why the onions can't come in later. Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a difference in the taste. What I do is I have some well frying mm. and after frying and having my food okay. ready, I can still add more, just like you do in your jello fries. Okay. You, or at the, the timings as which you put in your onions actually makes all the difference. Okay. Okay. okay so my oil is warm. All right. So uh -huh. how do we know how warm our oil is? We just uh -huh. put in one. Aha, and okay. watch it sizzle. So it's good enough. Okay. That was a whole onion though. Yes, I used the whole one. Onions is good for the health. Remind me to Google what exactly it does. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you said that. Um, but um, yes, no. am I looking out for something to happen with these onions before I add anything else? Um, I just want it to fry a little so that it can bring out the aroma, its own aroma. Okay. It has its own, um, hmm. um, what's the English again? What's the word? The, the word. I was flavor. Looking, yes, it has its own flavor. Okay. It brings out when you fry it a little. It doesn't have to burn. But it's going to be a little crisp, just a little crisp. Okay. I'm going to ask for my money for being your dictionary this morning. It's but okay. I, I, you always got my bag. So but I, I can't know. wait. I can't wait to see the next step. What okay. do we do next? Okay, no, the fish is not coming in here. I'm going to steam the fish. Okay, beautiful. With, so the next thing going in, please, wait. Go ahead, Joe. I just need oh, yeah, a tell little with mouth. more time. Tell us with mouth. What's it's happening? almost there. Five, four, Mary Jane. three, two, one. Yeah, <laughs> she's putting in the tomato paste yes, next. Yes, so I just had the tomato all right. paste in it. So, I'm not going to use all. Mm. So this we need to give it some time to fry. And that's our cue then. Yes. So let's give this some time to fry. All right. And then the next thing we're going to put in is um, a seasoning cube. 
and maggi. All right. And, um, all right. That. Vegetables. Yes. You heard it. We're almost there, people. But at <laughs> this point, we have to take a quick break. All right. Well, Welcome back. You want to hear this? Don't limit yourself today. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Only if your mind can, can conceive it, hey, you can definitely achieve it. So hey, the sky. It's just the beginning. All those motivational quotes are very important. Monday. Don't don't worry yourself over that mental monster that's been dragging you down. Mm -mm, Fear, don't. worry, all those things are only a way down. So hey, let's uh, let go of all that and jump into that brighter side of life. So hey, let's go full throttle now. It was an amazing first hour now, wasn't it, Titi? It was. <laughs> and and you've been breakfast. doing perfectly in plum. Thank you. For, is this Perfect. plum? This is, is plum. Called? I don't know. Beautiful. I just wear it. They provide it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've and got everything uh, in check, so don't worry. We've got great food in loading the in the kitchen. Amazing performance already gone by. Bet you enjoyed that one. Mm. And so much more to come here on Wake Up Nigeria today. We remain the only breakfast show on TV that actually offers you breakfast on every single show. I every day. don't know about that. <laughs> we sort of enjoy the breakfast while you watch us make it. You could try it at exactly. home, but then again, hey. This is it now. Smart people learn from everything, like what you learn here, yeah. and everyone. Average people, well, they learn from their own experience, and they say silly people, they already have all the answers. Which one would you be this Monday? Well, no matter which one I am right now, You're I think I've one. advanced <laughs> past all stages eventually. And now we have to think about something that we're going to do better this week. Yes, uh, by indeed. the way, my name is Titalaya Oinsa. And of course, my name is Mazino Appeal. Remember, you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media, social media platforms. And to be a part of the show, make okay. sure that you use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. All right. So um, we have the amazing on. Mr. Fola Daniels coming into the studio very, very soon. He's going to be giving us that motivation we need. Uh, and uh, he has a very, very important topic to talk about. And uh, in case you didn't know, we also have This Week in History uh, yes. coming your way. And of course, uh, Chef Mary Jane is cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Oh, my nose is yeah, tingling. Nose. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I want to dive in because today it's just you and I. Oh, uh, yeah. We've been, and it's been fun, though. It has been. It has been. What are you getting at, though? It's been fun. Uh, hey, hey, hey. You're on that train on your own. Uh, but, you know, it's, um, it's, it's something, it, it takes me back to when the show mm. started three mm. years ago where it was just uh, myself and Yomi. Okay. You know, and uh, we, we handled mostly every single segment. I'm know? not complaining. Yeah. Hey, I'm not complaining. But I all. have to talk a bit more about this, your plum suits. What now, was I'll this? tell you something. Yeah. Um, now, the wardrobe design mm. came off of... Um, I would have gone with the green shirt and I would have resembled the Joker. I actually <laughs> love the Joker. <laughs> that was what you wanted to I, do. Yeah, but I am going to do it one day. One day. Yeah. Every single thing is going to rhyme. Everything is going to be... Wow. You know, wow. Just, just watch out for this and that's the inspiration. So this, this takes me back to one of my favorite uh, storybooks and movies, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, mm -hmm. uh, where Mr. Willy Wonka yeah. had a plum suit. He was the sweetest guy in the world because he used to make sweets. So whenever I see anyone in plum, I'm just like, oh, they're so sweet. You just want to eat me. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> plum juice, beetle she juice, does. Also, beetle juice does. also, and not beetle juice. Um, the the rid no the riddler oh goodness I'm I'm Which I'm mixing all my characters now it's okay no the problem. mask no problem the mask used to wear a so, purple suit too now from last <laughs> week we actually showed you guys a couple of uh, previews to plenty of um, interesting not DC now but Marvel series that mm. are to come for 2021 yeah. now this set me on a um, I what? went down the rabbit hole okay. during the weekend and I finally during the weekend saw Tenet. Oh. Now, I'd like to say something. If you haven't see, seen it, I'll let you know that it's a very confusing movie. Very. But I make proud to say that I understood it a first time off yeah. after seeing it. The idea behind it is very, very, is very warp, but robust. You warped. really have to be into time travel to be able to understand it. But not everybody does. It's and if you want me to, I'm going to explain this to everybody on my social media handle hmm. later today. So you want to follow I don't me get that at movie. Mazino Appeal. It's very exciting, actually. I and don't know if I want to get the movie. <laughs> you will. Don't worry. I don't know yet. One thing but, that you uh, will get, however, from us here is the weather today. And uh, we'll be back with some news for after that one. And you're welcome back. We have the news for you, second hour inside of Wake Up Nigeria. Now we saw it this way. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamedou 
uh, Adamu is not leaving any stone unturned as he has now ordered the immediate review of uh, and strengthening of security arrangements around educational institutions in the country. Now, he has also ordered the deployment of additional operational and investigative assets to support the ongoing search and rescue operations in Kankara and its environs in Katsina State, where heavily armed men abducted students of Government Science Secondary School, Kankara. The deployment, which includes personnel from the police tactical squad and crack detectives from the Force Intelligence Bureau, will provide investigative support to the Katsina State Police Command. A statement signed by the Force Public Relations Officer Frank Mba on behalf of the IGP says investigations so far reveal that one of the attackers was killed and a policeman injured during the attack. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari has condemned the bandits attack on a secondary school in Katsina. The attack was carried out just as President Buhari commenced a one-week private visit to his hometown in Dara. In a statement released by presidential spokesman Gaba Shehu, the president said, I strongly condemn the cowardly bandits' attack on innocent children at the science school, Kankara. The statement also says, and I quote, The president has directed the reinforcement of security of all schools in line with the safe schools policy of the administration. And in Lagos, Governor Babaji de Sanolu is the latest high-profile person to have contracted the coronavirus. The governor is undergoing treatment at the moment, Minister... Um, now, someone who had uh, gone into isolation on Friday following contact with his AIDS infected with the virus. Lagos State Commissioner for Health announced this on Saturday. Akin Abayomi said the governor is currently experiencing mild symptoms of fatigue, typical of a mild case of the virus. Now, in a release, he also added that Sonolu is receiving treatment and is being closely monitored at home by a clinical team from the Infectious Disease Hospital in Yaba. Let's go right into sports now. Welcome back. Yes, now indeed. it's about time for us to take a quick look at what's happening. Uh, well, what happened this, this week, week in history? In history. I'm always <laughs> very, very excited when it's time for this week in history because really? you have some very interesting facts that I <laughs> sometimes I remember them, but other times I'm like, you yeah, know, they just surprise me. So let's so, get to it. Shall um, we? I actually love this segment because it just brings to light some things that you just might not have known. Mm -hmm. Now, this week in history, December 17th. Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, was born. Now, this is a Nigerian politician who has been the president of Nigeria since 2015. Buhari is a retired major general of the Nigerian army and served as military head of state from 1983 to 1985 after taking power in a military coup d'etat. Uh, now, the term Buharism uh, is ascribed to the right-wing policies of his military regime, and uh, he ran for president in 2003, 2007, and 2011. And in December 2014, he emerged as the nominee for the All Progressives Congress for the 2015 general election. He won the election, defeating the incumbent president, Goodluck Jonathan. Now, yes. I'm, first of all, I did not know that this week was his birthday. It's you birthday. didn't know? No. How come we're not making any noise about this? Uh, well, hey, they're probably in some areas in Nigeria. They are making a lot of noise about it. Oh, and, uh, you know, huh? we're going to see the newspapers start having all those shout yeah, outs and everything yeah, soon and enough. going to try and get on his um, good side. But, you know, because of the pandemic and so many mm -hmm. other reasons, you know, not as many events yeah, are happening this year. So. Yeah. yeah. Speaking but, about uh, Buharism, it's like as if I've had him in my ear all week since last week. <laughs> but it's all good. So, December 14th, 1969, the Ed Sullivan Show introduced the country to Michael oh, the Jackson. World. Yeah. The world, actually. Yeah. <laughs> to Michael Jackson and the rest of the Jackson Five. Now, these brothers from Gary, Indiana, um, with their sound and magnetic energy, would go on to capture the hearts of fans of all ages around the world. Now, Ed Sullivan had taken notice of the Jackson 5 when their debut single started uh, climbing the charts in 1969. Um, always a supporter of Motown, Ed wanted to book the boys on his show. Ten-year-old Michael had a confident smile and attitude, uh, paired with an incredible soulful voice and impressive dance moves. Mm. He had a special sparkle in his eye and looked incredibly at home performing on stage. Now, that evening, Ed was awed by Michael's enormous talent and clearly took a liking to him, yeah. stating the little fella in front is incredible so everyone around the world attributes this moment to introducing the world to michael jackson yeah. and of course the jackson five let's hear it ah, who would who would have known cute. then 
10 years old. Where yeah. did he go wrong eventually? Ed Sullivan literally predicted mm. that this guy was going to become the king of pop. Literally. Tell you something, in my teenage years, mm. I used to really love Michael Jackson at mm. high volume. <laughs> high volume. <laughs> high intensity. Disturb, disturb the neighbors. And I still have that feeling of nostalgia each time there's a track mm. uh, his on. So All right. uh, let's do one more. Yeah. yeah, so something else happened this week in history on 13th of December 1978. The first installment ever to the Superman film series premiered. Yes, the first time anyone had seen Superman on screen happened in 1978, telling the story of Kryptonian scientist Jor-El, who rocketed his infant son Kal-El to safety on Earth. Kal is raised as Clark Kent and develops unusual abilities and powers to become Superman, who fights for truth and justice. It depicts the origins of Superman, played by Christopher Reeve, uh, and his, from his infancy as Kal-El on Krypton, son of Jor-El, and uh, that was, Jor-El was played by Marlon Brando, yes, not a lot true. of people know yeah. that. And uh, well, hey, he grew up in Smallville and disguised as the reporter Clark Kent, he uh, falls in love with Lois Lane while battling the villain Lex Luthor. Uh, <laughs> now that scene reminds that? me of this time of year every single year really? while growing up because uh, well, that was the only thing they ever used to show us. <laughs> and I loved it. I love the score especially. Honestly, that sound and then the quick change that he used to change yes, all the time. Oh, wow. So that's what happened this week in history. There's Thank you for nostalgia, by the way. Yeah, yeah, nostalgia. <laughs> we have quite a bit more to come and some information you might not have known about. Oh, thank you very much and welcome back. It's Still Wake Up Nigeria here, Mazino Appeal on the sofa. And guess who I'm joined by? Mr. Fola Daniel in for Motivation for a Monday. It's good to have you in here. Good to be here again. You surprised me, however, because I was expecting you to walk in in reverse. <laughs> That's because today we're actually talking about something very interesting, which he's going to expatiate on. Um, reverse is also needed. Yes. I don't know if you've spent the entire weekend like I have watching Tenet because that's all they did in the movie, go backwards in time. So was that inspired by Tenet in any no, way? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I, I think the, the topic even came way before then. Okay. So when we say reverse is also needed, you, I, I just had a car in mind. Okay. J just picture a situation where you drive a car mm. and all you have to do is keep going and you, know, you just put it on drive mm. and you're driving for like 20, 30 kilometers and you can only turn right, you can only turn left, but you can't use the reverse gear. Mm. How's that going to be? It's going to be very funny. So you understand that your driving is not complete without the reverse gear. Mm. And there are some times when you're stuck and all you have to do is just to go, go back. back. Yeah. There are times when you're not even stuck, but you need to make a U-turn. Yeah. But it's difficult to make a U-turn without... need more room. Without, need more, exactly. You know, so virus. if you don't have all the room to make the U-turn, what do you do? Go you back. reverse. Okay. And there are instances where you just realize you've been driving very fast in the wrong direction. Mm. And if you've been driving very fast in the wrong direction, what do you do? Needs you reverse. Back. There are also instances where a vehicle has broken down in front of you. And once a vehicle is broken down in front of you, there are vehicles to the right, there are vehicles to the left. Or imagine, okay, there's construction going on on the corridor road, and sometimes motorists are told to use the BRT mm -hmm. corridor. If a vehicle breaks down on the BRT corridor yeah, and you're there, what do you do? You reverse. Okay. So if you don't understand that in life as well, reverse is also needed, you're going to get into trouble. Okay, so remind me, is this the auto segment of our show or I, I don't know? <laughs> it's, still, <laughs> it, it's still the motivational segment. Still the because motivation. you know sometimes the, the, the perception has been that you must never give up, you mm. must never stay down, you must keep going. And people take that to mean that not giving up simply means you must keep going forward. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes not giving up means that you soft pedal. Yeah. Sometimes not giving up means you know when to use the reverse button. Mm -hmm. Sometimes not giving up n means you need to understand that you're stuck. There's no way forward in that particular direction. I, I, I've got a very interesting question now. When it comes to what you've just said, like yeah. not giving up and people yeah. realizing that it's time to, to, to maybe back. take a step back, yeah. go in reverse like you have yeah. just said. Often when people get to this yeah. point in their lives, it's often because they've hit a brick wall or something disadvantageous has happened to them. Yeah. Does it have to get to that point where, ah, can't go any further? That, that's exactly why we're my hands quickly telling to. people now. There are times when, take for example, let's go back to traffic again. Mm -hmm. There are times when you are descending from a bridge and you can quickly see that the point you're going into has mm -hmm. a lot of traffic. So you use the reverse gear yeah. and you quickly take another route. Mm -hmm. And there are times when you're into it already before you realize, wow, 
I'm stuck already. Mm -hmm. So in life, there are some people who get to that point where they've hit the brick wall before they realize there's no way forward, they have to go back. There are some people like that. And there are some others, they quickly spot the foresight. difficulty. They have the foresight. So the moment they see it, they just hit the reverse. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is, you must come to a point where you don't have to think that going forward is the only way forward. Okay. Because it's never the only way forward. There are times when reversing is even your main strategy. Yeah. Imagine if you run into a gang of armed robbers mm -hmm. and you don't have the time to make a U-turn. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You have to hit the reverse. But in fact, sometimes some people tell you that reversing is where you really know the real drivers. Yeah, but I agree with that. <laughs> so, in life, so in life, you've got to know when to run back. Mm -hmm. There's this Yoruba proverb that says, knowing when to retreat is what makes you a good fighter. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, so wanna, you must know wanna, when to retreat in life. I want to plug in a story here. Dave Chappelle, yeah. very well-known American, um, well, black American yeah. um, comedian, yeah. um, at a point in his career when he was doing absolutely fantastic, um, just decided to run away from it all. He had big contracts ahead of him and all, but he simply just disappeared. Yeah. Came all the way to Africa, went to South Africa and spent at least, I think, about a year there before returning back to America and restarting his career. And when he was asked why he did that, he was like, it was time to just slow down. And right now, he's one of America's biggest comedians. He's doing fantastically well. It was like as if it wasn't even um, um, to his disadvantage at all that he let go of all of those contracts. But he had the foresight. In Nigeria, if, here, if, he if you did going, that, he'd be like... If he kept going, what's the matter with it's this guy? possible that he gets lost in the middle of drugs, true. in the middle of some, whatever it is. Actually. Something just can you know, take him out of that Very scene. True. So in life as well, learn to slow down. Mm -hmm. In fact, in some cases, learn to make a U-turn. Mm -hmm. I've had instances where I was walking somewhere and there was just no reason, no sensible reason to resign. Mm -hmm. And then I pull out of the organization and people are like, are you okay? Aha. What happened to I you? I want to go there. And what then I pulled out perception? only to realize that in about four weeks down the line, the people were getting line. laid off. What about people's perception when you do stuff like that? Should you regard people, what they, what they say or what they think about your actions that you're taking? Ulti ultimately, it's about you. It's not about them. So they're going to say what they have to say. It's not going to be pleasant. Sometimes you're going to get under pressure and you're going to ask yourself, did I take the right decision? Uh -huh. But you need to understand that the reason you had to retrace your steps was because you saw something going wrong mm. or something was already wrong and you noticed it before they did. So mm -hmm. you've got to, in fact, don't struggle to convince them mm -hmm. that you realized something was wrong. Yep. You are the one who saw something going wrong. So just be calm. Mm. If it's possible, cut off communication for a while. If you can't cut off communication, just assure them, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. I saw something. This is a strategy to come back better. I have another point I want to yeah. push in here. Now, it's easier said than done, especially yeah. this part where you start asking yourself or second guessing and asking, yeah. did I do the right thing? Yeah. There is a mental battle that goes on in your head when you actually hit that reverse but, gear yeah. and things are still not going right. Your income goes down, the way people see you as that big boy is no longer there yeah. and all of that. That battle is what most people actually... There, there are two things that come know. to mind with that. First of all, it's with the staircase. Mm. You don't, sometimes when you're climbing a staircase, you don't see the entire stairway. Mm. But you just take the first step and take the next one and the next one until you're on the next level. Yeah. The other is with your headlamp. Mm. When you hit the road in the middle of the night and it's dark, you don't see the entire road. Just, you probably just, just see just maybe... a portion of it. Uh, yeah, maybe less than 100 meters. Yeah. That's what you see. And you keep driving. You keep driving. The most important thing is that you keep the lights on. Mm. And as you keep driving into the few hundred meters that you see, you keep seeing more of the hundred meters, another hundred meters. You just keep driving. The other thing I'm going to say is that sometimes you're like a seed. Mm. When a seed goes into the ground, you don't see anything. Mm -hmm. It's like it's dead. Yeah. But it's not actually dead. What is happening is that it's coming out better. It's yes. coming out bigger. It looks like it's decaying. Mm. But it's actually succumbing to the soil that will give it nutrients, that will give it uh, the water that it needs, everything that it needs. And by the time it comes back, 
One seed went into the ground, but how many seeds are going to come out? Much you more. don't know. Yes, indeed. It becomes unco it, I mean, it becomes oh. countless. So, Mr. Yes. Fowler, stop, so there, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. It's like so, you were so said there are times to me this when, morning, man. So there are times when everything you're doing doesn't make sense. That's great. Man, I have not heard Motivation <laughs> Monday this good in a very long time. That's so, some fantastic yes, so there are stuff. times when everything you're doing doesn't make sense. Just keep But you are on the right track. Man, thank you very much for coming on the show today. It's a pleasure. You dress the part is like as if you knew you had something really good for us. <laughs> and we've got it. Thank you very much. Looking forward to next week, Monday. Come Monday, you're coming again on Monday, aren't you? I'll be here if you ask me Definitely. to. Definitely. So join us then. But do stay tuned. Today's show is not yet over. We've got much more coming your way. It's Wake Up Nigeria, and we'll be right back. That's why we have the one and only Mr. Kunle Shokumbi in the studio. Now, he is better known as the Niger Butcher, and he specializes in fast food. He makes shawarma. He also makes some assorted catering services. And uh, I know the way he packages that asawama is extra special. Thank you so much for joining extra, us in the studio. It is extra special. <laughs> it is extra special. It, it is. is. Uh, you, you and Mazino... It's actually called Asu Special. Asu Special. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. You and, and uh, Mazino have, a, have a, a thing going on. You guys have been throwing jabs at uh, each other in the studio. There's some history there. <clears throat> okay. S speaking so of we're history, some business, go ahead. Uh, then, uh, you said a mm. thing going on now. Yeah. and I don't have anything going on. <laughs> so Zino is just my friend. <laughs> we go all the way back to mm. uni days and mm. also. Is, uh, that, is that when this all started, uni days? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, Najabucha actually started um like three years ago okay so i was still in my active um career line oh by the way hmm. even me i tend to forget sometimes that i'm actually a marketing communications consultant okay. so i still do that actually okay uh, so i was i was very much in um marketing and then by virtue of being in marketing ideas start to jump around in your head yeah and quite frankly i love Asu. So that was why you went into it? Yes. The love for us? Uh, not exactly. So there's a story behind it. Um, so at some point, a friend of mine actually came to me and asked me if I wanted to invest in the goat business. Okay, so I've always had that in mind anyway. Because mm. growing up, I see these people, these joints where they sell uh, Amala and the likes. And then in the morning... And when I'm going to school, so I see them with all the goats and then the guys butchering them. Yeah. By 4 o'clock when I'm returning, <laughs> everything is gone. Okay. So I'm always wondering what's happening. Who's eating all this stuff? <laughs> so eventually, I mean, that goes to show that the things you wish for sometimes do come true. So many years down the line, a friend of mine approached me and told me what is going to go good business. <clears throat> and then uh, I was interested. Obviously, so I invested in it. We started. Uh, that went on for a while. He remitted to me once or twice. Then from then on, nothing happened. Uh -uh. So I, <laughs> so I decided to take it up on my own, and okay. that's how Niger just started. All right. So you know, it's a long way. It's a long journey from having an idea to mm. actually putting it out there. Mm. Uh, and from what we've seen of your branding, mm. um, it. You did say you're into marketing as well. So mm -hmm. let's talk a bit about that journey. What was the first and most important thing you did when you were getting this business off the, off the ground? Interesting. So, of course, when you talk about marketing, you talk about needs. You talk about the consumer. Mm -hmm. And you talk about um, fulfilling a need. So first thing is you have to always put the consumer at the center of everything you do. Okay. So... My target, my core target then was, I mean, there are people who are in the offices. I, 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 when I'm in the office as well, I want to eat something. Okay. I tend to order, they bring it over and all of that. So as well as something that, you know, so many people love, but you have to wait till uh, night time. Like when you go to, only a few restaurants sell it. So In the afternoon. In the is. afternoon. Mm -hmm. So you have to wait till night time when you go to bars, lounges and all before you can get some. And then I thought about how can you make it convenient? Because mm. really the vision is about democratizing meat. So um, giving people the opportunity to, to have meat, any kind of meat the way they want, how they want it, and where they want it, even when they want it. Wow. So right. any time of the day, wherever any you are. Any time of the day, wherever you are. Mm. So that was the vision. All right. So if you're going <clears> to... <throat> 
bring that to life, then you have to think about how you want to present it to them, how it has to be appealing, mm. how it needs to um, meet expectations. So yeah. from the packaging, of yeah. course, that started with the packaging. Yeah. All right. Of course. So you, uh, it was more about how do you want to present it to them in a way that is going to be appealing and um, hygienic as well. All right. So you're making this sound all rosy, but as quickly as possible, <laughs> you need to tell us some of those places where you believe you might have stumbled and had to backtrack, or mm. should we say reverse, like our motivational speaker said earlier? Mm. <laughs> Care to share? That actually started when operations started fully. Okay. Okay, so uh, a lot of people don't know. My first year, ah, mm. it was mm. <laughs> horrendous because okay. there was so much of wastage. Mm. All right, so um, that was the time I was learning about how to deal with the goat itself. Yeah. That particular goat we use is, is a local uh, goat. It's called the West, West African Dwarf Goat, right? That's the one you see around, you know, in the neighborhood running. The ones people call it Wure. Okay. <laughs> Let me just call it what so it is. So that was what you were using? <laughs> yes. So, so that's actually Asun. You know Asun originated yeah. from Ondo? Yeah. Okay. So that's the original Asun uh, goat. So I had some issues dealing with how to cope, how to preserve, Wow. And, you know, you're just getting started, so you get the goat, and then you feel you're going to make so much money, <laughs> and then you're going to sell so much, but nothing really happens. Oh, and then, wow. Wow. Yeah, one of the things we preach is same day freshness, mm. all right? So we don't save, we don't store in fridges and all. So it's supposed to be fresh. Fresh. All it right. has to be fresh. So we end up throwing some away. So that happened a lot in the first year. I know that you've been able to improve on that over the years. Absolutely. And do so much better. And, you know, Absolutely. we have to appreciate you for coming to talk to us today. And awesome. I know that there are probably one or two people out there that have learned a thing or two. Maybe they're going through what you were going through at that beginning mm -hmm. stage. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, <clears throat> there's something I've been going through. And uh, it's because Chef Mary Jane has been cooking. Like, my stomach has been rumbling. Hopefully, right. you're interested in tasting what we've prepared today. It's if not meat. If it's food, I'm interested. All right. It's fish. <laughs> All fish. Right. Come join it's, us. It's still part of the in home the kitchen. Thing. Please. Yeah. Yes, All right. so. Come on in here, guys. <laughs> Elero. Oh, <laughs> this guy is guys. Stop calling me Elero. <laughs> oh, you can't, this is Please. for you, actually. Oh, nice. Nice. Good to nice. have you here. Right. How you doing, man? How's business Thank going? You. Not too bad. Not All too right, bad. I can Quickly. see you're looking fresh and clean. That's all right. right. You know me, I always look fresh and clean. <laughs> oh, please, <laughs> Kunle, stop. All right, so oh, over to yes, you back indeed. again. Thank you so much. Chef Mary J in the building. <laughs> yes. Uh, I had this woman because she never misses a beat when it comes to mm. cooking something special. Mm. Uh, and today, you want to tell us what we prepared? Okay, I just made a simple vegetable sauce. I made it a little nicer by using uba and stock fish. And then it's boiled yam and mm. uh, my fish, crocker fish. I didn't fry it, I didn't steam it. Mm. Okay, okay, I fried it, but with in almost no oil. Okay, okay. okay. almost no oil Beautiful. because of the pot, or rather the pan I used in front of it. So mm. it made it come, it made it come out full, mm. like no breaking and all that. So Woo! look at that! Look mm. at that! Fantastic, Goodness isn't it? Me! Woo! Woo hoo hoo! We nice. have some yam there looking all fresh, and then the vegetables I saw when you blanched them, and everything came out looking really, really great. Okay, so um, that um, uba, yes, right? I got oil bean. Oil bean. Yeah. What, what did you do with it? Um, I just made, um, I just warmed it up, mixed ah. it with stock fish. Mm. Okay. And um, nice. that was it, basically. <laughs> so by the time you mix it with your sauce mm. while mm. eating it. Mm. <clears throat> all right. Oh, okay. So yeah, the is actually for you. Go ahead. Oh, oh. Have yeah. a taste. Thank have you. a taste. I want to know what you think you, about the you, fish. Thank you, thank yeah, from one right. chef to another, or actually from one layer to the other. The fish. The fish. I know what you think about the fish. The fish. There was something, <laughs> there's something <laughs> about it, it. really, yes. okay, well, I as a food connoisseur, I there's guess. There's something special about let's it. Let's see what you do. Hmm, let's see if you object it to it. This I hope is he not does. a symbol. I hope he will. <laughs> yeah, you know. All right, go ahead. Hmm, what do you think is different about that fish? What? <laughs> Let me try another piece. 
I like that response. He'll keep trying until he finishes it, if I know okay. him well. But um, I know... You know, you know how we do now. It's a special... Well, don't let me tell. What's, what's the name of it? The lemon salt. Lemon salt. Mm. lemon salt. Can you taste the difference? Lemon salt. Did you put... Um, yeah. What? Okay. What? Yes, it's true. It's it's yeah. true. <laughs> I like that. All right, well, All hey, right. Titi, yeah. Mary Jane, Kunle, thank you very much for a fantastic show. This is as much as we can take this week. I'll write yeah, this other day. Continue, continue. You, you keep going ahead. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who tuned in this morning at 7 a.m. Up until now, thank you for joining us and letting us be a part of your morning. We yes, love sir. that we are. Do remember now, we are on social media at TVC Connect, yes, and sir. you want to use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC or search us out on those, okay? Thank you very much, Mary Jane, yeah. Kunle. Tomorrow Leon, again Nigeria at Bucha. 7. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. We right. will be back order, with the order team. Order for some muscle. Uh -uh, uh -uh, <laughs> before. <laughs> we'll be back again tomorrow, guys. <laughs>